30 years or so, it has been shown experimentally that in quantum mechanics you can have creation without a cause of, you had mentioned it, subatomic particles. And at the very beginning of the universe, as you also said, the universe itself was subatomic. Why is it so inconceivable that the mechanisms that work now didn't work back then? The reason is that in the so-called quantum creation of subatomic particles, you uh, always have a material substratum, a physical system from which these emerge. Uh, for example, the quantum vacuum is not nothing, as the layman might think when he hears the word vacuum. It is a sea of roiling energy, and the particles uh, come out of the vacuum, so that the vacuum is the cause of the existence of these particles. In the case of the universe, however, as we just discussed a moment ago, we have an absolute beginning of all physical reality, um, so that there isn't any sort of um, prior uh, thing that could serve as a quantum um, substratum for the creation of the universe. If there is this sort of quantum gravity region in the early universe, that will be part of the universe. It's an early stage of the universe, but it doesn't explain where the universe itself came from. I should also just add one other point, and that is this appeal to these quantum processes simply um, assumes without justification that quantum indeterminacy is real rather than merely epistemic in your mind. But there are at least 10 different interpretations of quantum physics, some of which are thoroughly deterministic. And all of these are empirically equivalent and mathematically consistent. In fact, it is only the deterministic interpretations that are uh, compatible with quantum cosmology. So that there is no justification for assuming that even in the case of quantum creation of particles, this is indeterminate and that they do not have deterministic causes.